Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Sully and today I'm going to bring you a high round strategy guide on the map Revelations. So to get right into it, there's going to be one door that you need to keep open in order to run this strategy. And that's this door back here next to the trip mines. And as you can see, if you keep that door closed, you're going to get riser pits all over the place. But if you open it, it's going to get rid of them spawns. And another thing you're going to want to take note of is, when you're camping in this room, you don't want to go past this line here of where this wall used to be. You want to stay on the other side, otherwise you're going to get spawns from down there. So when it comes to the perk setup on this map, these are the four main perks I'd recommend that you get. Now if you can get Speed Caller and Electric Cherry from the free perks too, that would be perfect, but they're not necessary. Also, this is another one of their maps where if you get Quick Revive, you're going to start getting Death Machine drops. And on this map especially, you kind of want as many max ammo as possible. So it's up to you whether you get Quick Revive or not, but I'd probably not recommend it. So now on to the high round strategy. So to run this, you're going to want the Apophkin Servant, the Thunder Gun, and the HVK with Fireworks. You can also grab yourself a Juggernaut Mask too. So for the first 100 rounds, you can get away with only using your Apophkin Servant, which is going to speed up the rounds a lot, without actually having to worry about your ammo too much. So to help you do this, if you have more than 4 shots in your Apophkin, I'd recommend shooting the black holes behind the spawn window to stop the zombies from dropping power-ups. This will stop them annoying situations where you have over 10 bullets in your Apophagon and you get a max ammo. And the reason as to why I say up to 4 shots is because if you were to shoot a black hole outside the spawn and get a max ammo, you would have time to efficiently shoot all 3 of the other shots without wasting ammo. But you might also notice that I haven't got any keepers or fury spawning, which is also going to speed this up a little bit more. And the reason as to why that's happening is because I'm standing right next to the trap switch and for whatever reason, as long as you can see that whole square to activate trap, the Keepers and Furies aren't going to spawn. So whilst you're only using the Apophagon, you're probably going to end up using quite a few Alchems to keep your ammo going. And the best way to use these is to shoot in the positions I'm shooting at now, and to make sure that the hole to activate the trap is still on your screen, as that's going to help maximise the amount of kills you get. Alright, so once you made it past round 100, you're going to want to start using your Apophagon Servant and your Gravity Spikes. And all you do is just place your spikes exactly where I just placed them there, and it's going to help prolong your ammo as the rounds get longer and longer. Now you can probably keep this up up until about round 140, 150. And then if you have Alchems, you can do this for a little bit longer. And I should also mention, this is when you should be tracking your drop cycle, so you know when you're going to get your max ammos and you can prepare for them. So once you make it around 150, you're probably going to start encountering ammo problems running this strategy. So ignore the fact that I've got two alchemicals on us now, I'm just doing this for example. You're going to want to start using your thunder gun. Now you don't want to start killing full hordes of your thunder gun, it's too early for that yet. You just kind of want to start trying to fill up your gravity spikes with four shots of the thunder gun to kill in half hordes. And then once you get your gravity spikes, just place them in the usual spot, and then you just want to rinse and repeat that, and you shouldn't have any ammo issues until round about round 180 doing this. So now you've hit round 180, you're going to want to start trying to fill up your gravity spikes again, but this time with two thunder gun shots, and you're probably going to need the help of a dead wire too. So the way that you do this is by killing two full hordes of zombies, and in between them try and kill a few zombies of dead wire. And also if in between the hordes you see a fury or a keep, you can start spamming your HVK ammo into them as well, because that will actually start charging up your gravity spikes too. So doing that should last you all the way up until about round 210 or 220, and at that point you're going to have to start dead wire slamming. So if you have a Apophagon ammo, or the thunder gun works too, instead of just shooting it and then placing your spikes, whenever the trap's ready you're going to want to fill up your gravity spikes, hit the trap and instead of placing your gravity spikes, you just want to start slamming at the zombies that are coming out of that one window in your room. And at that point you're going to want to put them away as fast as you can so that it will only take about 4 or 5 zombies to fill your spikes back up. And then just rinse and repeat this until the trap goes off. At which point you just want to place your gravity spikes back down as you normally would, shoot the apophagon until the trap recharges. So doing this can last you all the way until round 255, 
But let's say worst case scenario, you get bad RNG on your gumball hits or something like that. And you have no ammo in your puff gun and no ammo in your thunder gun. Then you're gonna have to run this without the trap at times, which is honestly easier because there's always gonna be more than five zombies for you to dead while you to charge your spikes back up. But this is gonna be the slowest way for you to play this map, so you kinda wanna avoid this as much as you can. So finally, onto the bosses, and they're gonna be so easy to kill because of the thunder gun. So for the Magua, you need to be ready for him as he spawns because in the first second or two of spawning he's going to have all three of his eyes open and all you need to do is just spam three T gun shots at him to kill him. And for the Panzer it's going to be just as easy but you need to shoot the Panzer four times with the Thunder Gun to kill him. And also a big note of the Panzer, you don't want to stand where he spawns as he's just going to insta die. So make sure to stand back and you should be fine. And that's going to be it for the video, so if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.